Starfield is an upcoming space exploration RPG from Bethesda Game Studios. And simply put, the hype around this game is at insane levels. Starfield. Starfield. What is Starfield? He had always wanted to do something where you explore space. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. But within all of that hype, in a galaxy waiting to be explored, lies a question that seems to be growing louder and louder. What happens if Starfield bombs? Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby! Are you listening? Hey, welcome back, friends. Uh, today's show is obviously gonna be a little controversial, and I'm sure that some of you probably saw this video title and thumbnail and were like, well, Bryant woke up and chose violence today. But I gotta level with you. This is a question that fascinates me. As it seems as of late, we've seen this same story happen time and time again. Cyberpunk 2077 was hailed as the next great thing, only to bomb at launch. Anthem, Fallout 76, and specifically that last one because out of all the developers working on games, Bethesda Game Studio probably has the biggest blemish on them. In fact, who could forget the launch of Fallout 76? The game was billed as the future of the Fallout series. During that year's E3, Todd Howard took the stage and sold all of us on a game that genuinely sounded amazing. Fallout with friends. What could possibly go wrong? Until that is, we fast forward to the actual launch of the game, and Fallout 76 was met with a lukewarm reception at best. Early adopters were met with a ton of technical issues, a severe lack of content, and a bad taste in their mouth from feeling like they got lied to about the game's potential. Now granted, I would genuinely like to believe that Bethesda has moved on from this experience and that they've learned a ton from the mistakes made during the launch of Fallout 76. I mean, hell, to Bethesda's credit, they continued to support Fallout 76 and have fostered a decent-sized community around that game. So much so that at the end of 2022, Bethesda revealed that Fallout 76 amassed over 13 million players in that year alone. But following a fumbled launch like Fallout 76, a game like Starfield becomes that much more important for the studio. Because I say this with 100% sincerity, if Bethesda launches Starfield the same way that they did Fallout 76, I genuinely don't know how the studio could move on from that. And the importance of this game goes way beyond just writing what you've done wrong. Starfield represents the first new IP for Bethesda Game Studios in 25 years. Let that sink in for a moment. For 25 years, Bethesda Game Studios has been making a Fallout game, followed by a Skyrim game, followed by a Fallout game, followed by a Skyrim, Fallout game, Skyrim. Now they're breaking that tradition of making money hand over fist and create a new unproven IP. The risk for this game is massive. Granted, space game is a space game and people will buy a game set in space simply because it's in space. And I would also go out on a limb to say that a game like Starfield sits on a branch of a genre that has already been semi-proven by games like Mass Effect and No Man's Sky. But still, from a business perspective, spending time on a new IP is a risk for the company. And you better believe that both Xbox and Bethesda are praying that that risk pays off. Especially Xbox. Keep in mind, Microsoft acquired Bethesda back in 2021 for $7.5 billion. And historically speaking, I mean, Xbox hasn't really been flush with consoles selling exclusives. I mean, I'm just spitfiring here, but like Sea of Thieves, Halo, maybe Gears of War, and then I would put Starfield right in that same category. And of those games, maybe Sea of Thieves was the only one to break that barrier and survive with zero outrage or controversy. Starfield for Xbox represents the first major attempt to launch a console selling exclusive. And the company will be pushing the game extremely heavily. And if Starfield fails, my god. Starfield will quickly become a $7.5 billion exclusive that no one wants to play. And trust me when I say this, Xbox 
definitely does not want that to happen. As right now, their competitor, PlayStation, is home to multiple console-selling exclusives, games like God of War, Spider-Man, The Last of Us, Uncharted, or Horizon Zero Dawn. In order for Xbox to compete against PlayStation, they need a game like Starfield to knock your socks off. And yes, Xbox has great hardware, fantastic PC integration, and Xbox Game Pass might be the greatest invention in gaming in the last 10 years. But a game like Starfield represents so much more. It's a game that has the potential to become the next Skyrim. A game that launches and is played for the next 15 to 20 years. A game that is beloved by gamers around the world. A game that can redefine Xbox and Bethesda's place in the video game industry. If Starfield succeeds, it will usher in a new era for both Xbox and Bethesda. But if it fails, that is the future that I hope we never see.